taxes are paid. I honestly kind of figured the camera would be dead by now. You know how the DMV normally goes, but did not go too bad. And we are now tagged. What is happening, a bunch of builders? Welcome back to the channel. We're back here with our 1969 Volvo 145 S station wagon. As you can see, she is registered, tagged, and insured, and it's time to start driving it. We have a few things that we need to finish up, some brake issues that we have, a couple other little odds and ends to really dial in, and then we're gonna build a custom roof rack for this thing because I think it's really gonna set this car off. And then we're gonna finish this video up with a first drive, a first shakedown, and have a little bit of fun with this car. Now we have driven the car a little bit and the reason we haven't tagged it to this point and really started driving it is we actually have a right, is the passenger rear caliper is hanging up really bad with just a little bit of drive time, it almost completely locks down. Thankfully, of course, VP Auto Parts, which are actually right here in South Carolina, hooked us up once again. I was gonna go ahead and rebuild it, but for the cost of what a new caliper was, we just got a brand new caliper. And we'll 100% know that we're ready to go. First thing I wanna take care of up here if we're gonna be messing with the brakes at all is let's go ahead and get this nasty brake fluid taken, pull, pumped out of there and get some fresh in there. Got a syringe on a hose here. And this is a very slow process. But look at that stuff, that is Gross. Ah, making a mess. While we're here working on the brakes, you know the main thing that stands out in this engine bay, it's pretty clean, it's pretty nice, but that power booster right there looks crispy. Pulling the two nuts on the master here, we are able to pull it out of the way. And then on the back side, you have four around. Now this one, I'm not positive. It's a little tricky to actually get the, to get it loose on the inside of this whole deal here. So what I'm gonna do is I have it pulled away I'm gonna tape up everything really good. We'll get it cleaned up really good. Paint the back side, push it up against it, and then paint the front side with it in here just because it all works really well and there's no point in taking everything completely apart. I've got to give it to it. Really pleased with the outcome. I got to say thank you to all of you who commented. The few of you that commented in that first video, in the video where we detailed this mentioning, that would really tie this engine bay together and it sure does. It really ties it in. Even with its patina, it shows its age, but it shows it well and that really topped it off. We can start on this side with getting that caliper replaced. goes but it's trying to spin the whole thing it's actually just taking spin it off 
So that brake line's in great shape. We just need to get the end freed up there. Just verify we have a match here, which we do, but we do need to save our pins here. We definitely need to get, I'm gonna guess these are probably the original pads. That was straight down. This was probably hanging up back when the car was last driven many years ago. May have been the reason the car was parked because it completely ate that side. And there's nothing, that's straight down to metal. So it's good we got, well, <laughs> they're only like $10. There would be no reason to not putting new shoes on it. Now it's time to go ahead and get this caliper put back on. One thing I do like to see is it is sitting here with ease, dripping fluid. So that's good. That means we have a nice clear line and everything's dripping through. I did not get this to free up. And so we're gonna spin it on the same way we took it off. I've done this quite a few times. I just need to soak it down. Normally if I let it sit here for the next, oh, probably day or two, it'll free up. But we have something planned for today. So let's get it slid back on. Here we go. New caliper is installed. I love that it's factor anodized and everything, so it looks really great in there. Obviously, it's not a full restoration car. This is just a really, really nice driver, and this is gonna make it safe and comfortable for us to be able to drive. Quick cruise there left us with a brake covered, brake dust covered wheel and a really hot brand new caliper. Even though the car doesn't feel like it's dragging, it clearly is because we already probably burnt through a set of pads, I think. Oh wow, we've got extras. But let's figure out what's going on. And that is these two things right here. We've gotten a new set of them here and they are proportioning valves. They're rear brake proportioning valves, adjustable, and they work per side. The reason I didn't even think of something like this is your normal car uses a standard single proportioning valve that works all four brakes. And normally if you have a locking brake issue, it is actually because a singular is because of the caliper. If all of them do it, you know it's a proportioning valve. This one's a little bit different. It uses these crazy things. Doing a little bit of research, this is actually pretty common. And this is our problem, but they come in a set. There's no point in putting used ones in there because it's a super common thing to act up. So we've got a new set of those and we did go ahead and get the brake hoses that connect to those to wet as well because when I did check that out, the one under had blown up so much from brake pressure being held on and then it sprung a little hole. While we're under here and the back is raised up, there's no point not checking our differential fluid, seeing the condition of it and topping it off or replacing it need be. Our cap off here. That 
That is clean as a pin. And when I say that, it is metal colored, not black and tinted like it would be if it had nasty, nasty old fluid slinging around in there. It is really, really clean. Wow. Not burnt at all. Nice color. Just the way we like to see it. And it is right, right there. I mean, right at the level. I'd say that had probably been, must have been serviced not long before this car was parked. You can see it looks like it probably leaks a little bit. Something to plan to do in the future is going to be go through and probably do that front pinion gasket and the little pan gasket here. But somebody took care of this and definitely kept it serviced with nice clean fluid. And we know it is a 65,000 mile car. We're here at my Uncle Michael's place at Majestic Stair, and we're gonna build a roof rack for this thing. So what we've got here is a set of quick and easy rain gutter holsters. And this is gonna be our mounts to actually mount the rack on and then we're gonna custom make the rest of it. I've thought about making a set of these. They do, they have different ones you can make like for XJ Jeeps and stuff, but had these on hand and I think this is gonna fit the car's personality really well because it is new old stock and it is such a clean old original car. I think it'll be really fun to use. What we're gonna end up using for crossbars here is this one inch solid aluminum bar. It's gonna be nice and strong and hardly flexible at all, even with the weight of wood that we're gonna have on top of there. It is a little smaller than what I wanna use, but even being aluminum, it's still a little bit on the heavy side, and so we don't wanna get carried away with it. I think this will do really nice. Brazilian cherry. So in case you're wondering, we're not professionals. He's kind of one. He used to work here for a little while, about 18 years ago. <laughs> so we have an idea of what's going on here and how to use it, right? Oh, of course. Hey, which one of these did you cut your finger off in? <laughs> With this one, right? Or was it a different no, one? It's not here anymore. Oh. Probably got rid of it. <laughs> the shop we did stop to get some hardware and while we were there that jerry rigged fuel pump that we tried to make work which has been working really well decided it didn't want to work anymore thankfully the auto parts store was in the same parking lot as the hardware store and we were able to throw and jerry rigged that fuel pump in here <laughs> and she's still running like a top but let's go ahead and get the roof rack assembled with our new hardware we've got it all cut and trimmed to piece it trimmed there 
we'll get it all together and then we'll clean it up and seal it up. I think it's gonna be really sharp. Wow, that would make a pretty floor. So the original plan was to go with, what was it, cherry? Was to go with Brazilian cherry and we kind of ran out. So we have some cherry and we have, some, this is Brazilian cherry, these pieces right here. And then the rest of it is light and dark Mahogany. Mahogany. Light and dark mahogany, which I think is going to be really cool. We're going to stagger it out. We have nine of them, so we can stagger them. So it'll be light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And wow, that would make a pretty floor, but I think it'll make a pretty roof rack. What we're doing now is going ahead. You can see we didn't quite go all the same exact length with it. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to rough it up a little bit. I, I like the idea of the different lengths, the different colors. The width. Yeah, widths. What did the I say? Oh yeah, the links yeah, are the width. Duh, the widths, different widths. <laughs> but we are going to put them in a certain order, light, dark, light, dark. I think it'll be pretty cool on the top of the car. But what we're doing now is measuring them all together. We're gonna figure out the gaps that we want. We want a nice even gap all the way through. And then let's just knock out and get everything drilled so we can just bolt it right together. <laughs> Well, we've got her dolled up, dialed in, and ready to start cruising. It is a beautiful spring day today here in South Carolina. And it's time to put some miles on this thing. Let's give it its maiden voyage. Let's test it out, see how it does, and check out some really cool things we have here in the upstate. This is work. Best get that seatbelt on. I don't, these are the floor. Look at it. How does this thing work? You leave it, it's floppy. So the, the shoulder belt is just kind of an extra. And then this is this is where you tighten it, right? Oh wait, no, 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 no! Oh, it all pulled. Oh, cool! Check that out. Yeah. Learning stuff. Yeah. Get this. Interesting stuff. So we're sitting at sixty-five thousand eight hundred and fifty-eight miles on this thing. I think we'll probably we were planning. They've got a really cool covered bridge in uh, Landrum, South Carolina, that we were thinking about riding out to. We can't actually pull the car down to it. So we're going to run around maybe up near the mountains here a little bit. Uh, come maybe up Highway 11 near the lake where I actually used to work at Lake Kiwi. We've got a really cool... So Pickens used to actually be... Can't figure it out. Yeah, Pickens just... Courthouse was the original town. It was actually moved and it was where Lake Kiwi is now. This was many years before that, but it actually when Oconee and Pickens split up, you can research. There's a lot of cool stuff that uh, I really enjoy history. So one thing we're probably going to ride out 
is check out. It's a, it's one of the original churches that were there. It was a Presbyterian church, I think it was. Old graveyard still there, and it's on the Kiwi River. And we're gonna put a few miles on this thing, test it out, see how it does, and check a few cool things out. Fire right up. Set the road. So what we get? Uh, we got a chicken, yummy, and some honey mustard. Get some taters. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah, some taters. And that is it. Is that not beautiful? <laughs> well that's gonna wrap it up for this episode i really hope you all enjoyed us rescuing this car getting it dialed in bringing it back to life and then dolling it up a little bit with things like the roof rack and, and cleaning the interior and doing some brake work and stuff but that's gonna wrap it up for this episode if you all enjoy what we're doing you haven't already be sure to hit the sub subscribe button notification bell and if you've been along with us we really do appreciate all the love and support as always peace out Catch you all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.